Alright, we about to get into this video real quick because um I receive a lot of emails and stuff like that. Oh, people like, well, how can I make my eggs soft? I want them to soft. I want them to feel what I feel. You know, um, when they gonna suffer warm? When the tables gonna turn? Man, I'm telling you, the best revenge and the best thing you can do is nothing. Now the thing is, it's the perfect punishment you can give to an ex, a loved one, or a family member, or whoever. You give them the gift of your absence. If they mess around and do something that don't please you, and just you know do something that you know that that cross your boundaries, the best thing to do cut them out your life. I know a lot of people are like, man, Warren, man, God said forgive. And, you know, he ain't never said give them people another chance. He ain't never said that. He ain't said forgive them people. But he ain't never said let them people back in your life. So the perfect punishment, if your ex cheat on you, mark your branch to someone else, and, you know, start a whole nother re rebound relationship and they try to come back to you, no. You let them stay out there. There's this old saying they say, they made their bed, let them lie in it. Where you think that saying come from? So the thing is, they went out there, they made their bed, let them lie in it. And that's the ultimate revenge. And you boss up, you better yourself. You know, you get on your purpose, you get on your grind, you do your mission in life, and you then you become, you start to shine. Then at that time, and at that time, that your relationship that you have with that person, and how you treated that person, will reflect in their face. They'll be like, dang, I should have never did song song to that person. I should have treated that person with a little bit more respect. I should have did A through Z for this person. You know, but I didn't know they were gonna turn out to be like this right here. You know, I just, you know, and at that time they regret their decisions. Now, on the vice versa, if you dump someone, you kick them out your life and you bettering yourself you know you 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 start studying more you start going to the gym a little bit more you start um getting your finances in order things of that nature you know and you look back on this person that you had to kick out your life so you can grow and improve yourself nine times out of ten that person you know nine times out of ten they're gonna stay the same because sometimes people don't change People only change when something tragic happened in their life. If everything going, you know, good in their life, why should they change? They see no purpose, no need to change. But the thing is, you always, everybody on planet Earth have a calling on their life. And sometimes it takes something tragic to happen, to spark that. Sometimes, you know, that's probably what your ex need. For those of you that left out their life because they weren't doing nothing with their life, but don't you know people can be an infection to your life so you have to cut certain people out your life so when you cut certain people out your life and you continue to grow and better yourself and become the person that God designed you to be keep in mind I say design design you to be and you start to shine those people that did you wrong in the past you know they thought it was funny you know they thought you know it wasn't going away in life Cause keep in mind when people do you wrong they always always have an excuse they always have some kind of excuse to why they did it and it's never their fault why they did, did what they did to you but that's okay though that's okay you're gonna you, you're gonna use that ammunition they give you that firewood they give you you know what I'm saying? You're going to put it in your life and they're going to spark something inside of you to get to your greatest, to your greatness. Now, when you, you know, achieve your greatness and you're starting to shine, just reach, reach back and help, you know, someone else, you know, and just help someone else. That's it. And that's how you continue your blessing by helping people. If you help enough people, no people will give you what you're asking for. But the more of this video, how to punish your ex. How to punish your narcissistic, demonic, you know, self-serving, demanding, you know, ex is to let them stay out there.
If they leave you, don't let them come back. And you, you better yourself. I'm telling you, it's a must. Because when you better yourself, these people are gonna look back on you. Because they're gonna run out of options out there. They're gonna run out of you know opportunity options and all that stuff like that. People ain't they're gonna get dumb. Because everybody knows what's on the other side over there, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let them go chase it. It's not worth it. So the thing is, you let them go chase it, and you better yourself to the fullest, to the maximum, 365 days on your purpose, all day, every day. Watch, I'm telling you, these people will reach back out to you and they try to, you know, try to slime their way back into your life and stuff like that. Because every ex, you know, every breakup, every time somebody break up with you is for a reason. If they made a commitment which to you, there will be no breakup. So the thing is, let it go. Work on yourself, better yourself daily. But with that being said, I'm not going to ramble on no more. If you'd like to get in contact with me, um, you can send me an email. You know, the email right here at the bottom of the address. Or you can text, text me. You know, don't call the phone. Please, please, don't call the phone. You know, just send me a text message. Or you can send me an email, you know, if, if there's a, you know, a video that you like to see me make please leave it in the description i get to you but with that being said watch out for one another pray for one another and just stay positive every day and work out you know just like i'll be doing daily you know with that being said peace